Fruit and veggie growers are urging us to shop seasonally after a $100 watermelon went on sale. They say there are some bargains out there at prices we haven't seen in a decade. Adam Hollingworth has more. There's a bumper crop of broccoli in Pukekohe at the perfect time to pick. Not so for lettuce in soggy Australia where KFC is swapping it in their burgers for, take a deep breath, cabbage. Oh man! Then there's this Aussie export, 100 bucks at Farrow, 100 bucks. <laughs> Look, I, I guess if someone wants to pay $100 for a watermelon out of season, go for it. Vastly different scenarios, but one constant, seasonality. Beautiful. And post-pandemic, it's key in the restaurant scene that wants the best bang for their seasonal buck. Shane Don and his team are changing the produce they send to Auckland's top chefs based on their daily phone chats, and in turn, the chefs are changing their menus. Simple. Morning, chef. Chilies are out at the moment. Uh, do you want to wait a couple of days, wait until the sunshine comes out? bit rainy at the moment. What do you want to do? You want to swap those out for green? We've got some green in stock at the moment. So what's in and what's out right now? If you want to talk about seasonality, you can forget your watermelons at the moment. Carrots, parsnips and broccoli are where it's at. In fact, last week, one of these would have cost you $1.90. That's as cheap as it's been in 10 years. That's pretty good value if you compare it to a steak or a piece of fish that might be up at 15 or 20 bucks. So, you know, it is still really good value if you're buying in season when stuff's in good supply. If you try and buy out of season stuff, then then expect to get uh, burnt with that. Top chef Nadia Lim says we should get out of the habit of expecting to eat what we like when we like and eat to the season. I think that's actually wonderful. I, I love having the variety. And, and when you eat seasonally, I think it also brings a lot more joy and celebration to that season. Not only that, the seasonal food decisions we make will shrink our carbon footprint and our food bill. Adam Hollingworth, News Hub.